Hi Virgo, welcome to Tarot Alignment. Hang on, let me fix my chair. Okay. Uh, Celtic Cross today? Yes, yes, yes. Um, the messages don't resonate with you, then just leave them, go on to the next. Uh-huh. Queen of Swords. Just the facts. Nothing but the facts. Air energy. Hmm. A lot of discernment. Bottom of the deck. Knight of Cups. Okay, what's crossing over you? Victory. King of Pentacles. I'm like, I need to do another card deck for you today, and I think it's this one here. I think that's what I need to do. All right. What's in your past? Page of Pentacles. What's below you? Nine of Cups. What's above you? Eight of Wands. Your future. Here it is again. Knight of Cups. <laughs> okay, so let's take this from the top here. So you're kind of like in this, this um, Queen of Swords energy where you're just looking for the facts. You, you don't want, you know, um, information that is not really going to serve you you just want factual information um, right now you don't want a lot of flowery talk you just want the facts and we'll clarify that with this card which is the world it's a whole new world it's a whole new cycle you are having a whole new cycle and you're getting a victory and the victory is with the king of pentacles and that King of Pentacles is that, you know, Virgo energy that you're having. You're really in your element right now. Things are just going really well. What's grounding you is this Nine of Cups here. We'll go into that. Nine of Cups. Yeah, Ace, your knowledge. Ace, Ace of Swords, knowledge. Ace of Swords, and then equal give and take. So you're feeling like everything is is in balance right now. You know, and in the past, you know, I hate dwelling on the past. I mean, it's like sometimes the past when you're doing a, a tarot spread is there to kind of t help tell the story of, you know, where we've come and then this is where we're going. But here we have such a beautiful reading, it's almost irrelevant, wanting just the facts, to even bring it up in, you know, with the Page of Pentacles. I mean, so the Page of Pentacles is like somebody who comes in is like, you know, gives you an offer, gives you some information, um, some wisdom, something, and we'll clarify that. But it's, it at right now, it kind of seems irrelevant to even bring it up. And this card is just sticking up. Yeah. Well, okay. So there was a bit of confusion. But now you know, you're not confused. You're not. If things are balanced. You have knowledge coming through. You're using your noggin. You're happy. You have love with that Nine of Cups. That's wish fulfillment. Everything is going great. And what's above you, you've got this communication card. You've got this Wands. The Eight of Wands. So let's see what's going on with this Eight of Wands. You're letting things go that don't serve you. Another eight. Another, you know, and this is great because see, 
you may be letting go things that were worrying you. It's not necessarily a person or anything because it's communication. So there might be communications that you were having with somebody that you don't see the purpose in it anymore. And that's why you're in this Queen of Wands because the communications may be negative and you're not in that negative space or wanting that kind of energy in your life because you're kind of flying high. You're really flying high. That's excellent, Virgo. Excellent. All right, let's get another card on that one, though. Okay, this is where we stop. Yeah, <laughs> letting something go. Again, the Five of Cups, letting something go. One is walking away. One is letting something go. And judgment. Judgment is when you have decided... I want to say like what kind of person you are. I mean, you're deciding, it's an assessment of some kind. It's an assessment of self. And you're assessing like, okay, if I watch that television program and it doesn't make me feel good, I'm not going to watch it anymore. If I eat Brussels sprouts and they upset my stomach, I'm not going to eat Brussels sprouts anymore. And um, that you're just kind of doing a general assessment. And and that is a good thing because you're feeling really good. And it's a start of something new. And you're feeling this victory. You've got your money coming in. You're balanced. You're feeling very, I want to say fatherly. You, you're feeling um, very personally satisfied with self. Okay. And you got love. Love is there, too. That's the best part. Bottom of the deck. King of Cups. The Sun. All right. Let's shuffle again. Let's see. Take another turn on the wheel. <laughs> All right. Let's see what we got here. We need something on that King of Cups. You want to come out. King of Swords. King of Swords is a divine pair with the Queen of Swords. It's a match. It's a match. So this person that is your future is a match intellectually. It matches your intellect. And that is a good thing. That is a very good thing. And there's love. Hello. Seven of Swords, something leaving. The Star. It's a dream. A dream is leaving. Tower, a Knight of Pentacles. So you're going to have a moment in the future is that something will leave and it'll be a dream that you had. It'll leave. It may or may not leave or it's, it's um, something, a lesson that Divine wanted to teach you. And that's leaving. And then um, the tower that it caused is still kind of lingers on a little bit. But the Knight of Pentacles, that comes in and that just kind of is things are going to come back down to a steady rhythm again. You know, you've got the Knight of Pentacles and you've got the um, Knight of Cups. So whatever is happening, it, it's it's coming back around it's it's uh a dream leaving a tower becoming settled so you may have had a tower in the past because you had this confusion you may have had a tower in the past and now it's just i want to say it's just kind of walking away 
the tower soon. And the dream leaving. Let's get a card on the star. Spirit, let me have a card on the star. The hangman. There's a pause, and in that pause, there's a feeling of left being left out. So there could have been a project that you wanted to be a part of that may have been a dream or part of a um, a wish, and that's leaving. And that's um, you're feeling left out. So you paused. Maybe that's maybe it's because you didn't react quickly enough. The Tower to the Knight of Pentacles. Let me have the Tower, please. That's too many. Hierophant. Yeah, the tower. Yeah, four of cups. Going to calmer water. King of cups. Control of emotions. Yeah, so this tower, I think what it is, is that it was a tower that kind of, because um, see, here we have this dream that kind of left and put you in a hangman and you feel left out, which that could have caused the tower. But in that tower, you were able to get the Hierophant uh, card. And when you get that Hierophant card, it means that you're just getting downloads from above because you're quiet and you're able to go forward. So the tower is, is um, it's just, towers are not catastrophes. Those are just kind of like learning moments, little, little learning blibs in life. And who knows this this opportunity could come around again it's i don't feel it's love i feel like it is because the reason why i say i don't feel like it's love is because you have two counterparts you have a queen of swords and a king of swords and you have love right here this is not going away this isn't what this is about this is something separate that's going to happen in the future and it's not about your relationship because everything else in the cards it's all happy. There's a little confusion over here in the past, but that was clarified by a new cycle, a new wheel. You're showing your strength in the King of Pentacles. You're showing a victory. So this, this little wish that kind of walked away, and it could have been a small wish, but it might have been enough to where it caused you to have some kind of upset, which you had to go within to go forward. Does that make sense? All right, Virgo. I'm feeling like I had to read one of these. In mid-card dealings. All right, there it is. Regeneration. Yeah. So let me get the, the little book out for regeneration, number 46. Second chances are available to you now. Whatever opportunities you thought were dead are now revived and more authentic in a stronger form. Whatever you may have perceived as a fail or a loss is now being replaced. Something better and more powerful is growing in this place. Its rebirth is assured. Step into your new life. Destiny is being fulfilled in wonderful ways. So, there you have it. It's it's just a little baby tower moment. You may have missed something, but it's coming back around, and it's going forward. It's something new. Okay? 
something better, something faster, stronger, <laughs> able to leap tall buildings in a single bound. Six million dollar man. Okay, I'm old. That's like a moment where you say, okay, boomer. <laughs> it's okay. I'm okay with it. All right, Virgo, you have a wonderful day and uh, have a, I love you. Bye.